everyone, welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung, and we're going to play around with OSPF multiple area configuration. So putting a couple routers into area 0, and then we're going to put a third router into area 1. And then we're going to do some verification commands to make sure that they are in different areas. So we're using Practice Topology 5, which is our three routers in a line. And what we want to do is we want to take router 1 and the left side of router 2, and including the loopback, and we're going to put it into area 0. So right here is going to be area 0. And let me pop in a circle so you can see that. I'll, we'll actually make it an oval. Something like that. So that will be area 0, all that good stuff. And then we're going to make the right side area 1. Something like that. Okay, so left side area 0, right side area 1. Might as well add in some text to help us out. Area 0, area 1. Okay, so it's actually pretty easy. You already know how to do area 0. So we'll set that up on router 1 first. So enable conf t, router OSPF 1. And so just by looking at this topology, this diagram here, we could see we're adding in the loopback and we're adding in the fast 0, 0 interface. Let me just click on show interface names there. So since we're adding in everything, it is safe to type in the Hail Mary network command of network all zeros, all zeros, area zero. Then we're going to go over to router two. So now we have an interesting problem on router two. We know we have to go into router OSPF1. That's That doesn't change. But now we can't use the Hail Mary network statement. Well, we could. Uh, but it would require some some extra finesse after that. We want to do this the proper way. So we want to take the loopback interface, pop it into the OSPF, and we want to take the 10, 10, 12, 2 interface and also put it into area 0 OSPF. So let's start with the loopback. We're going to do network 2.2.2.2 .2 and let's use an exact wildcard mask of all zeros and area 0. So that looks pretty good. We're going to then do network 10.10.12.2 and let's do an exact match on that, all zeros. What you could have also done is 10.10.12.0 and done a wildcard mask with the 255 at the end. Either way will work and pop it into area 0. And we're going to stop there because what we want to do is we want to make sure router 1 comes up. So we're going to give it a couple seconds for OSPF to converge. And there we go. So router 1 is talking to router 2. Life is pretty good. I'm going to drag in router 1. And let's do a show IP route. So look at that. Life is good. I can ping all twos. I could do a show IP OSPF database. And you can see I've got my router link states and I've got my network link state. So the DR is me. So that's to be expected. Pretty nice. And everything is in area zero. Now back to router two. Now I want to take the fast Ethernet 01, this network of 101023x. I'm going to pop that into area 1. So we're going to do network 101023.0.0.0.255 area 1. That's going to throw our fast 01 interface into area 1. I'm going to go over to router 3. So router 3, three we want to put the fast Ethernet 00, zero and the loopback into area 1. So here we could use the Hail Mary network statement. I'm going to go router OSPF 1, network all zeros, all zeros, area 1. 
Going to give a couple seconds for our OSPF to converge. Area 1 should come up within 5 to 10 seconds, hopefully. And we're still waiting. Going to do a show IP protocols just to make sure everything is good. Show IP protocols, everything looks pretty good here. Do a show IP int BR. And I'm just going to verify that I can ping the other side. 10.10.23.2. 10, oh, looks like I don't have to do that. And we now have convergence between router 3 and router 2. Let's see how different router 1 looks on the IP OSPF database. So this was before adding in router 3 and the area 1. You can see we've got area 0 and area 0. I'm going to hit the up arrow to do the show IP OSPF database again. And we've got some more stuff. So let's see what we have missing here. We've got, this was before, so we have all ones, all twos under router link states. Let's go back down here. So under router link states, all ones, all twos, so that's normal. Network link states, 10, 10, 12, 1 for the new one. We go back up here, 10, 10, 12, 1, so that's the same. But what has changed is now we have a summary network link state. A summary network link state. This is created by the area border router, which is router 2, because it sits in between area 1 and area 0. So what this is telling us is we can get to the loopback of router 3, so we can get all the way over there, through router 2, which is all 2s. We can also get to 10.10.23.0, so this link in between, through router 2, which is 2.2.2.2. Two, 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 two. So in effect, what's happening here is this middle router, router 2, is sort of running interference for us. It is basically saying, if you want to get to anywhere over here, you're going to go through me. And you really don't need to know that much detail about this side right here. You just need to know that to get to the all threes and this link, just send through me and I'll take care of the rest. So it's a pretty smart, pretty smart router and router one doesn't need to have that much information to get to router three and the other side of router two. In later videos, we'll learn how to summarize that even further by putting in a summary address, manually summarizing, or using a stub network. Now let's go on router 3 and see how that looks. We're going to do a show IP OSPF database. And we could sort of see the mirror image from router 3's perspective to get to anywhere on area 0, which is this side of the link of the network. We have to go through router 2. So to go to all the ones, so loopback 0 of router 1, loopback 0 of router 2, and this link, 101012x, we have to go through the advertising router of all twos. So that makes sense. Let's see how show IP route looks like. Show IP route, this is something we haven't seen before, OIA, this is an inter-area route, inter-area. So this just means it's outside of my area. I'm in area 1. This came from area 0. Pinging it is not a problem. I should be able to ping it. Ping all 1s. And I can ping all 2s. Not a problem there. Okay, so that was a quick and easy video on how to configure multiple area OSPF and to verify it using the show IP OSPF database command and also show IP route. Thanks for watching.